James George with Creative Beacon, and this week I'm going to talk about uh, perspective. And so inside of Illustrator, there will be times where you want to create graphics and perspective. Now everybody knows about the perspective tool, perspective grid tool, and you can use that to drag your objects into perspective and you know use these guidelines for this, but you don't always want to use that just because of uh, certain circumstances. But there's another tool that you can use to transform your objects into perspective, and that's what I'm going to talk about. So let's say that you want to transform these objects into perspective. Right below, or I'm sorry, right above the perspective grid tool is something called the free transform tool. If you click on that, you have a couple of different options. You can constrain these, but what I'm going to talk about today is the perspective distort. So if you click that, then it gives you, when you hover over any of the corners, it gives you the option to distort these objects into perspective. I have these all selected at once, and if you just click and, and drag upward, you have the perspective like this is going back, you know, receding back this way. So I'm going to undo that, but if you take it and drag you know, left or right, I'm going to do to the right, it actually looks like it's extending outward, like maybe this is uh, the edge of a wall here, and then this is the ceiling coming out towards you. And so this can be really awesome for creating uh, perfect perspective for objects um, coming towards you and going away from you inside of Illustrator. And you don't have to worry about the grid and messing with, with those kind of things because it's hard to, sometimes it can be hard to work with the perspective grid tool depending on the project that you're doing. And so if you've already aligned everything and you just want to distort it all in perspective together and you know be able to manipulate it a, a little easier, this uh, perspective distort tool can really help you. And so if you drag out from the bottom, you get the idea. The more you drag out, the more it's distorted. So that's something you'll definitely want to keep in mind. But look at the results that you get. If you change the tool, you can go back to to editing your graphics. But that's what you get. And so it this could be, for example, this could be a crosswalk on a street. And then you from here you line everything up and you create an entire scene just from this being a crosswalk on the street. Of course it would be white and the street would be gray and all that stuff for realism, but you get the idea. Uh, there's a lot that you can do and if you work more visually than, you know, uh, trying to, if you work better visually than trying to calculate things out, then uh, this perspective distort tool could be the solution for you. Well, that's my tip for this week. I'm James George. This is Creative Beacon.